In this video, we're going to discuss four different sampling methods. We've got random sampling, taking a systematic sample, block sampling, and haphazard sampling. So let's go through each one of these in turn. Random sampling, we're saying each item in the population has an equal chance of being selected. What does that mean? So let's take an example. Let's say we've got here a list of customers, and I have 100 customers in this list. Okay, we've got 100 customers, and this is their accounts receivable balance. So I just randomly generated some numbers here. So this customer owes $1,480, customer 2 owes 7,123, etc. Okay, so I did this in Microsoft Excel, and we could set it up so that Excel randomly selects, let's say out of these 100 customers, we wanted it to select uh, a sample size of 10. We could have Excel actually pull back 10 randomly selected customers for us. So that's one way. If we do random, we say, okay, out of that population of 100 customers, it's just going to randomly give us 10 or whatever whatever our desired sample size is. Systematic, when we do it, take a systematic sample, it's also random to an extent. But it, it, what we're doing is we're saying, look, every nth item, so for example, so we've got 100 in that in that sample I just showed you. Let's say that we want a sample size of 20. So if our sample size is going to be 20, what we would do is we take 100 divided by 20, and that's 5. That's called our sampling interval. And so every fifth, every fifth item from the population is going to be selected for the sample. So let's go back here. So we would have customer 5 would be selected, customer 10, customer 15, and so forth. Okay, so that's basically how it goes. If, if we wanted a different sample size, if we wanted just a sample size of 10, and we have 100 in our population, then our sampling interval would be 10. So every 10th item from the population would be selected for the sample. Okay. Now, block sampling is we just take a group that's all together. So let's go back to our example here. So let's just say we want a sample size of 15. We just say, okay, we're just going to take the first 15 customers from the pop that's our sample right there or we're going to let's say we want a sample size of 20 we'd say okay we're just going to take the the first 20 customers they're all adjacent it's all together it's just one big block so that that's block sampling and then a haphazard sample would be just arbitrarily taking customers and just saying okay well we'll take uh, customer 3 customer 10 customer 15 and so forth right so it's just completely arbitrary you're you're trying you're not looking in, at the balance and saying oh i want this balance where you're just picking numbers but you might be subject you know there's research shows, shows that it could be subject to unconscious bias so this actually haphazard sampling is the worst type of sampling approach um, and then probably our best is if we're looking at a ran completely random sample